Today at Coyote Classics, we're checking out a couple little darts. This blue one is a 1970, and then right beside it is a beautiful 1969 yeah. uh, Dodge Dart. Both are uh, sitting with 340, four barrels under the hood. Uh, one's an automatic, one's a four speed, and uh, both are just quality, quality Mopars. But you know what, we'll let you guys be the judge of that, right? Yep. Um, this is more of a, a show quality driver. Um, the, well, the little 69, which we'll talk about in a little bit, um, that is a numbers matching 344 speed dart. This one is a not a numbers matching car, but a 344 barrel was put in it. Very tastefully done. They went with the stock manifolds. It's got power steering, which is huge, and uh, just a very, very quality repaint on a rust-free original car with gorgeous original interior. Yeah, this one's sharp. Still has a fender tag. As I mentioned before, every piece of this car was taken apart. The doors, the hood, the trunk lid, the jam paint is gorgeous. Uh, functional, that's pretty damn cool. Huh? Yeah, it is cool. Yeah, under the hood is great. The grill, the front bumper, the Dodge emblem. I mean, everything on this little Mopar is just crisp and clean, isn't it? It sure is. I love the original, when we'll get to that in a minute, but I love the original style wheels and, and hubcaps too. The chrome on the hood scoops, the little 340 looks great. I mean, this, this little dart will take any uh, local car show and bring you home a trophy. I mean, it's just one of those cars. Top of the fenders, top of the hood lines up great. So we go to the bottom of the fender doors, both doors suck in really nicely to the back of the quarter and the front of the fender here. Look up and down the sides, it's super straight. What Dee's talking about is the, uh, just the steel wheels, the dog dish, original hubcaps, new tires all the way around. That blue's got a lot of metallic in it, just a beautiful color. I love a silver blue. I don't care if it's on a Mustang or, you know, look over there, D. Yeah. Same solid. color on that 70 satellite. I'm really excited about that one. That's another one that's going to be coming up, hopefully next week. So I did find a little flaw, D. Just a tiny, tiny little ding right here. It's like a broomstick or something fell on it. <laughs> a broomstick. I'm sure that's what happened. Maybe a witch was flying over or what? <laughs> it might have been. Um, as far as the rest of the roof, the paint's gorgeous on it. Um, back here, they did a really good job on the factory lead line. Uh, no bubbles, blisters, no issues. The trunk lid lines up great. The back bumper is like brand new. Look at the tail light lenses and stuff. I mean, those are even just absolutely perfect. Uh, love what they did on the dual exhaust. If you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, uh, what you're going to see on there is absolutely rust-free original undercarriage. Um, all solid original inner rockers, inner uh, quarters, everything. So. Sounds great. Go ahead, Brent. Brent's going to tighten a, a belt up for us a little bit. We just noticed. As we look up and down the uh, driver's side, absolutely rust-free there as well. Do you want to go ahead and get the uh, keys for the trunk? Yeah. Look in that trunk once. While you're doing that, I'll kind of zoom around the front here. This sail panel over here is excellent. Front of the quarters, great. Corners of the doors are nice. Got the original tags and stuff in there. All the rubbers are perfect. As we go inside, it's got 67,966 believed to be original miles. And you look at the interior, the interior is damn near flawless. And you can tell, like even on the headrest, you can tell just a little wear on that little chrome there. But uh, all in all, the seats are perfect. Seat covers look like they're all original. Headliners, beautiful. Dome light works. Rear sail is awesome. Even the package tray has just a little bit of fade to it, but it's original and great. It's got uh, seat belts for three in the front, three in the back. Door panels are fantastic. Paint on the top of the doors are great. Remote mirror. And the list goes on and on. Even the wood grain on the dash is beautiful from, 
from uh, side to side. This is a Dart Custom. It's got its factory AM radio still intact. This trunk is awesome. Original paint still on the trunk floor. Original, the original spare seal. still in there. Look at, yeah, you get all your, these are all the factory seam seal crap. Look how they globbed all that in there over the seams. Mm -hmm. There's your jack and everything as it should be there. Yeah, whoever buys this is just gonna get a damn quality car. Absolutely. That's all there it's is to it. Had a dart too, and both these, this blue one and the red one are just fantastic cars. There's a little peak of the red one. We'll get to that one in about five minutes here. As soon as we get back on a test drive on this one. Let me get to the passenger side once and Brand will finish up that, uh, that belt. Thanks, Brant. There's always little stuff that comes up, you know? I mean, like we came out here and fired up, we hear just a little squeak from that belt. Like, you know what? Let's just get that taken care of before we take it for a test drive. And top of the dash pad's perfect. There's the dash. I mean, it's just crystal clear, nice. Inside corner of the door is nice. Carpet's really good yet. Um, painting the door jam is nice. They didn't, they just didn't do anything half-ass on this car at all. I mean, it's just a survivor with, like I said, one really nice repaint and a nice power plant. Go ahead and give you that. Let's roll up the windows and hit the road, should we? It starts easy too. It does. Hey, how about that? Sounds a little yeah, better, Yeah, huh? a lot better. The radio clicks on, but I don't, yeah, I don't think it works. Heater fan works. Even just like this dash application is really nice. Isn't it nuts? Nice? I mean, you can just tell it's original miles. There's no doubt. Paint inside the glow box. Original looks awesome. Fuel dart custom. Yeah. Kind of cool. Uh, temperature gauge. We'll see if that works a little bit. Fuel gauge definitely works. Alternator gauge works. It's got an oil pressure light. This is a really quality Mopar. Isn't it nice? I mean, even the power steering is just so freaking, so quiet and nice and crisp. This is one a guy don't have to make excuses for. I mean, just no. damn nice quality through and through. Yeah, how about those brakes? I didn't realize if it's got disc on it or not, but they sure stop like it. Or I hit the brakes there, I mean, it really yeah, it's stop, like it stops. stop nice. So we can get her warmed up a little bit. There we go. Got great power too. Here's your speedometer works perfect. Um, as far as the brakes go, stops nice and straight. Really good brake pedal. This thing kind of hauls ass. I was impressed. It's not bad. Get down works. We're finally cleaning uh, some of the stuff out from the river here. That'd be nice. That. Maybe I'll be able to get your boat out, dude. I'm hoping so. The Patriot. The we'll Patriot boat. We'll get her out on the water this year. Um, speedometer says we're doing 75 right now, and it's just super quiet in here. As far yeah. as there's absolutely no wind noise on my side. Uh, goes down the road fantastic, too. You could whisper in here. Definitely whisper. Nice car. Check this one out on the site, CoyoteClassics.com. Uh, let's get back and check out that other one. Yeah, let's do it. This one is definitely impressive.